can do um I can do pre season with my club that like, I know I can do it because I know it's nowhere near as been, yeah, been I through. know it's nowhere near as hard. Yeah. And then even when I'm training, it's like in my head I'm thinking, Dap, she can do this, man. Yeah. Because I've got it in my head. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? You've been through worse. Yeah, I've I've been through worse. Bruh, I I know it, man. I remember there were times where when we get, I used to hate so you we go into the thing and you're like no we're out, we're out in the grass yeah yeah when we're out in the grass I'm just like oh flip sake just running galore and, and that's, that's I used to do it for mental strength yeah especially when I saw new boys come mm. because you, if you notice I don't really talk to new people yeah I know for I the noticed. first week I know it's yeah because yeah? <laughs> I've seen so many of them come and don't come back after mm. one day yeah so they're never going to make it. Yeah. Right? So I don't even want to have nothing to do with it. It reminds me of the manager what I had. Yeah. Like Martin, Martin O'Neill. Yeah. If he was injured, listen, he wouldn't talk to you. He might not know it. Listen, and you could play against Man United away, lose 1-0 in a 90-something minute. Mm. The man will walk past you in the corridor all week, fuming. <laughs> fuming. <laughs> But like, let you beat Scarborough away at 1-0, scrappy goal, 94th minute. Yeah. you would be like, you've got four days off, boys. I'll see you Thursday. Oh. So, for me, that made me have a winning mentality. Because mm. the rewards, what he was giving you, is like, yeah, you've got to win at all costs. Yeah. And I've taught that. I was a winner from a young age anyway. Yeah. I hated losing, bro. Oh, flip it. But yeah. Yo, Counter-Attack Podcast. Just me here. Chinnamon, oh. listen, guys, we finally got him on, man. <laughs> the man himself, Jamie Lawrence. Hello, people. Yes, yeah. what's going on, Jamie? What's going on, Dad? You all right? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm just yeah. for, for for a lot of people who, who a lot of people know the story already. But yeah. Jamie was like before I got before I got sent initially. You were a big part in like me getting fit. Yeah. You know, me changing my mentality towards football. And just knowing that I could do it, because, like, yeah, man, I've never known fitness like that, man. Even now, I was just yeah. saying to you before we started, I don't know if this, if this is going to yeah. make the cut. Like, I've never been as fit as I was than when you're training, well, when I'm training well, with you. There's a lot of it. A lot of it's mental. And people who make it are prepared to do things what others aim, don't want to do. Mm. And when you come to me, that's why I push your boundaries. And I'll make you realise that it ain't going to kill you. It'll just make you stronger. Yeah, no, nah, trust me, when I'm doing the running, it feels like it's going gonna, it's gonna to kill it, me. It but. feels like it killed me, but I, <laughs> but I ain't killed nobody yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for those of you that don't know, Jamie's former professional footballer. Now, how would you describe yourself now? What? What, what my job? Yeah, no, yeah, like, how would you... Because you're more than just fitness coach. Yeah, no, listen. Mentor. Mentor. Yeah. A strength and conditioning coach, mm. coach, mm. man management skills are out there as well. Yeah. And a role model for our community. You know what, I'll, I'll give you that one, to be honest, because yeah. you are definitely a role model. And, and yeah. I think what will come out of this podcast is um, is the fact that a lot of people can actually look at you and, and see, you that, see that you are a role model. Yeah. And even the fact that, we're not we're not, we're not going to sit and roll off the names yeah. of of footballers, current footballers, past footballers who yeah. who look at you and and see you as a as a role model because we'll be here all day. Mm -hmm. But trust me, guys that are listening, you guys have no idea. Well, a lot of you have have an idea, but pff, some of the names that have trained under you man are just ridiculous. Yeah. Some of the names you've played with, some of the names I played with, played against, or trained, big names, but. Most most importantly for me, mm. good people. Good people. Yeah. Yeah, man. So um, where do we start, man? How did it all start for you, man? Well, for my football. Yeah. Or, yeah, my football. For, that is even a longer story where I think everyone knows my story about me ending up in prison. Yeah. Are you allowed to say what you went into prison for? Um, yeah, the first time I've done two sentences. Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, I got three years first time for four robberies, one assault and one fifth. Mm. And then the second time for one robbery. Yeah. But I was speaking to someone today about the sort of things what I got into, yeah? Yeah. I I weren't doing it through choice. Yeah. 
it was necessity. Mm. Yeah, these young kids out there nowadays, mm. they're picking up this thing like it's fashion. Yeah, it's not fashionable. Yeah, there's no happy endings in this game. Mm. Right. So I ended up on my second sentence doing four years. Yeah. Got sent to a place called Campbell, Isle of Wight. Yeah. Um, my saving grace is there was a prison officer called Eddie Walder. He was the head of the gym. Yeah. Know? So we played a team called Cow Sports on Boxing Day. Mm. Remember, remember it like it was yesterday. Mm. Were they um, a prison team as well? No, they, they used to come in to play us on oh, okay. Boxing Day. Yeah. Semi-professional team Yeah, on the Isle of Wight. Decent team. But I played against them, scored two goals. Yeah. I scored a header in an 80-something minute winner. Yeah. And I ripped them <laughs> to shreds, yeah. I was playing up front in that game. Yeah. And then um, they went to the governor and asked the governor, oh, can he play for us? Really? Yeah. I said, can he play for us? So I had done 12 months out of, of four at the time. Yeah. So the governor said, listen, when he um, goes up for his parole, if he gets refused and goes on his home leave and comes back, then we we'll assess it again. Yeah. So got knocked back from my parole, went on home leave, come back. And it was true to the word, I started letting me out every weekend to play for a semi-pro side. Wow. So on the island, it's like I was some celebrity. I'd never played in front of a proper crowd. Yeah. Instead, except for the prison side, like yeah. the prisoners all on one side. And then um, they at first it was like a couple hundred. Mm. And because they knew I was playing... Six, seven hundred started yeah. turning up, and I started doing well. How old are you, D Sims? When, when I was in there, yeah, 22 at the time when I started playing for cows, yeah. And then, um, TV cameras started coming to the Isle of Wight, yeah, GMTV, the st papers, standard yeah. paper, and all that started doing interviews in the prison. Mm. Then, teams started watching me, okay. But do you remember a person called Ambrose Mendy? No. He was Nigel Benz' manager, uh, boxer, yeah, yeah. and he was Paul Ince's agent. Okay. Right. He was in prison with me at the time. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, he was in prison with me at the time. So he saw me play. He's gone, listen, I'm getting out soon, mm. but I'll keep in contact and I'll get you some trials when you come out. Yeah. So I was playing for these teams, ripping it up. Teams were watching. I got parole early because of my football. Yeah. But what they'd done, they were smart. They let me out pre-season. Yeah. So, obviously, if I got let out before, I could have got myself into trouble. Mm -mm -mm. So, I went from here. I went straight. I went to Southend first. Yeah. Under Barry Fry. Okay. Right. They I signed was, you? No, nah, they never signed me. Oh. I was on trial for a month. Yeah. That's where I met Chris Powell. Oh, shout out, Chris. Ricky Otto and all them, Andy Anser and all yeah. that. And we're still good friends with all them now. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. looked after they looked after me when I went there. Yeah. Um, never got nothing. Then I went to um Millwall. Yeah. They tried to offer me two hundred and fifty pounds, but they wanted me to stay in digs. <laughs> right. With young kids. Yeah. Because obviously in my my past they mm -hmm. wanted to keep an eye on me. Mm. It's Mick McCarthy. But yeah. but for me, I've come out of jail now. I've done my sentence. I, yeah. I don't need them. I'm a big man. I don't want no one keeping an eye on me. So I said, no, nah, I can't. I ain't taking that. Yeah. Then I went Wimbledon. They tried to offer me 200 quid, which weren't right for me in London as well. Yeah. Then I ended up in Sunderland. I I, I went up to Sunderland on the Sunday. Um, Terry Butcher was manager, the old England captain. Yeah. I trained on the Monday, trained Tuesday, Wednesday. And then I played against Leeds on a Thursday. Okay. And then... And all this was through um, through Paul Lintz's... Um, yeah, yeah, him and another geezer called Barry Shortman. Yeah. Yeah. You must know Barry Shortman. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, he know. works a lot at West Ham. Mm. He's a big agent. Mm -mm, uh, mm -mm. Is he still... Um, he ain't still working, surely. He's still working. Oh, really? Yeah, he's Dave Sullivan's best mate. Wow, okay. Yeah. yeah. So they got me to Sunderland and I played against um, Leeds... Played really, really well. You know when you played well. Yeah, yeah. All right. So I played well, thinking, yeah, I must have got something. Yeah. So the next day, Terry Butcher just sat me down in his office. He's gone, You excite me, son. I'm gonna I'm gonna sign you. Yeah. And I was like, from where I've come from. Yeah. And it was like championship side mm. Sunderland. You see how big that club is? Yeah. And I was thinking, 
all my dreams have <laughs> come at once. You know what I mean? mm. So I went home, packed my stuff, and I come back. We played against Leicester away. I come back on the coach. All them sort of things. I remember the first pre match. Pre match, he asked me for. I'm like. I'll give you some fish and chips. It's like, <laughs> footballers don't eat fish and chips. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm like, okay, I made it now. I actually signed on my um, my dad's birthday. I oh, made okay. my debut on my mum's birthday. Oh. So I signed on a Friday. Yeah. And then um, I made my debut live on ITV on the Sunday against Middlesbrough in the local derby. What was that like with all your family watching on TV? And they played, uh, what, what tune they played in the warm-up? Jailhouse Rock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all right. Yeah, but I, I never business. this. Uh, I'm a professional footballer now. Yeah, which one of your, because obviously your career was, yeah. was a good one, man. Like, made it to the Prem. Yeah, the first first part when Toby, Toby Bush got sacked after six weeks, mm. and then some, he, he was racist. <laughs> right, <laughs> he, was, he was racist. The man was racist. The one who took over. Oh, the one who took over. Yeah, oh. Toby oh, Butcher. Oh, was so, Toby, Toby Butcher was. Yeah, Toby Butcher was a gentleman. Yeah. The one who took over was was racist. Yeah, and he quickly got rid of me. He sold me to Doncaster for twenty thousand pound. Yeah. Um, because um, Terry Bush's number two went to Doncaster. He bought me 20, 20 grand. Mm. I ended up being there 10 months. Mm. And then I passed Sunderland on the way up. I ended up signing the Premiership. Yeah. Yeah, for Leicester. I remember, like, the, the hairstyles, man. Yeah, listen. I remember, uh, for, for those of you who remember Jamie yeah, Lawrence, yeah. you'll probably remember him, Bradford, with... Mad colours here, like yeah. Uh, Leicester, I had the pineapple. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Flip it over. But what I had the thinking? pineapple from jail. Yeah, I've, I've seen the pics, mate. Yeah, because it was like Jazzy B. Yeah. <laughs> back in the day, it's soul to soul. That was an in thing at the time. Yeah. yeah. No, I, re- I remember, man. That's yeah. that's nuts, man. While you're in the prem, though, um, do you notice the quality straight away? When yeah, you it's went a big jump. Prem? Big jump. It was a massive jump, like. You handled it well, though. No, yeah, because I was I was an athlete, mm. and I never feared no one. Mm. Uh, I don't care who I'm playing. A lot of people can't make the jump because mentally they're overawed by the people they're playing against. Mm. I was never like that because of my background or whatever. Yeah, I had that fight in me. I, I was going to make it work no matter what. Mm. So like big games as well. Like I would always get picked in big games. Yeah, yeah. But because of like your background and, and where you're coming from and, you know, obviously, the, you know, you've been in jail and whatnot. Yeah. In regards to the actual club, do they provide, like, back then, was there any sort of support or was it literally, like, just go and play your football and... There was no support for me at all. No, 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 no support. Like, I would play my football and that's it. They would never give you no financial advice, nothing like that. There's, mm. you know, there's nothing like that in place back then. Like, agents, you would sign your deal, they take their money and you wouldn't hear from them again, and really, until there's another deal to be signed. Yeah, did you keep your same agent throughout your career? I did, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I went into the chopping and changing thing. Yeah. I'm a loyal man on it, so I was loyal to my agent all the way through. We're going to come to agents soon, though, because yeah. I'm pretty sure you deal with quite quite a few agents now, yeah. man. But what I'm trying to get into, yeah, right now, yeah, Ronaldo. One of the few people. The real Ronaldo. Yeah, not Cristiano. Yeah, the real Ronaldo. The real Ronaldo. R9. What was that like playing? Oh my yeah. gosh. Obviously that's got to be one of that's got to be the pinnacle for me on my career. Playing against Ronaldo. The play, well play against that Brazil side because they're yeah. the world champions mm. at the time. But as a little boy, every boy has grown up watching the great Brazilian sides mm. at the time. And I I was privileged to have watched 82 sides, uh, some of the 70s on the telly. Mm. But that team, what they had there, like Ronaldo, yeah. Rivaldo, Kaká, Z Roberto, uh, Carlos, Cafu, Lucio, Rafael Jr. You know what? We was, before we went to the game, I was at Warsaw with Paul Morrison, mm. and he was killing me. He was going, you Jamaicans can't play football. <laughs> All right, you're gonna get lick up seven, eight nil. Yeah. I said, all right, we'll see, it? So we got beat one nil. I take that all day yeah, long yeah. before. Kick but off. Joe was mad, yeah? Um, yeah. 
you you decided to play for Jamaica. Yeah. Um, was that purposely done, or is it was it more of a thing where if England had come, you would have played for them? No, I don't think England would have ever come because yeah. of my background. Yeah, of course right? not. But especially just I, terms. for me, it meant more to yeah. me playing for Jamaica. Mm. I got called up when my dad was on his deathbed. Yeah. All right. He never got to see me play, but he knew that I got called up because the president of the football federation come and um, saw him in the hospital. Yeah. And my mum got to see me play for Jamaica, which, listen, God rest her soul and all yeah. that. You know what I mean? But she was so proud, like, yeah. in Jamaica. She used to love it. Walk around, yeah, my son, I play yeah. for Jamaica. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, nah, that's 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 a that's a story, man. Yeah, Roberto, Roberto Carlos. No, no, I'm talking about Ronaldo, man. Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Ronaldo is the best player I've played against. Could you actually just see the quality, like just yeah. straight? Yeah, and you don't realize how strong they are as well, mm. and quick. They're they're stronger than people think. Mm. They think it's oh, I just technique, but you never get. It. Nowhere unless you've got the full package. Yeah. You know? You've got to have that little bit of animal in you as well and that devilment. Yeah. You know? Oh, man. I wish I could play against Ronaldo. Yeah. I'll just hack you I, for the sake of it. If you could even get close to him. Yeah, I'll give him, I left a bit on him still. <laughs> <laughs> you played against Burkamp as well? I played against oh, Burkamp. Gosh. And we beat him. Henri was in that team. That yeah. was a proper Arsenal team. Yeah. We had Vieira, uh, um, Adams, it was Winterburn, Dixon. We beat we beat them at home. We beat them up actually. Mm. Yeah, we used to make the pitch horrible. Yeah. Oh, purposely. Yeah. Listen, we don't want to play you on a hybrid. <laughs> we get beat up, and yeah. we have to level it, level the pitch. <laughs> huh? And then they come to our pitch, and the change rooms. This is when you're like, like this. No, this is at like Bradford. Oh, Bradford. They come to our change room. It's like this. So it's yeah tight. Yeah. yeah. They can't even think they're skipping the changing room. Yeah. Oh, flipping off. So we're intimidated them straight away. Yeah. No. I, I don't know what I would have done. Playing, I'm so used to playing a hybrid to come now. Yeah. Play done. The only it was, team. It was, it was, you think, was, was Saunders there? Dean Saunders was there. Um, Stuart McCall. Peter B. Grease. Oh, what's Stuart McCall like? Was he a nasty piece of work? No, he wasn't actually. Except for when he had a drink. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks. He looks like. He looks like the sort when he has a drink. He's a bit. Uh, him, him and Biggs when they had the drink, we had to keep them apart. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they start fighting each other. Biggs, Peter Bigri, player. Yeah. Um, Dean Saunders taught me a lot about football when he was there. Um, Gordon Watson, um, he was a striker, used to be at Sheffield Wednesday mm. and Charlton. He gave me so much belief when he was there. Yeah. Yeah, because we were staying in the same hotel one day after a game and he sat me down and he goes, you don't even know how good you are, do you? He's going, listen, you're one of the best players here. You need to go out and prove it every week. Mm. week. Them little words sometimes can help yeah, players in their 100%. career. Yeah, you know I mean? 100%. Um, how long were you um, at Bradford for? Because you were, uh, you're like a cult hero, man. Six years I was there. And, you, you know... You've had a lasting impact. I see oh, the tweets. Yeah, I love it. I see I the love messages, man. I love, I love Bradford and it's the same they love me as well, you know. Do you actually support? No, you do support Bradford. I, saw, I support yeah. Bradford. Yeah, I know. I, I support Liverpool as well, but Bradford is, is my, in my How are you heart. finding Liverpool recently? I think he's bottling it. I think the gaffer's actually bottling it. Like, playing against Everton and <sighs> little teams and like West Ham and all that, yeah. For me, he's playing three holding midfielders. Mm. I'll play one holding midfielder and I'll play Shakiri, even Lalana or Keita, either side. You've got to play Lalana, you know. Uh, I'm surprised Lalana doesn't play more. He's been he's had a lot of injuries, but, Listen, but if he's if he's fit, you play him. Yeah. But we don't concede much no more. Because Van Dyke's around the back. Mm. You know? So you don't need three defensive mids. You know what I mean? Do you so like Henderson? Do you, well? Do you like Henderson? I think Henderson's poor. <laughs> but that's being polite right about yeah. now I think it's awful yeah right because he stops the flow you need to look forward quicker because mm. te what teams are doing now they're getting in their shape yeah early as soon as they lose the ball they get in their shape yeah so you need someone who's more forward thinking like Fabinho for me is a good player 
Yeah. He looks Took a forward. while to settle in, but yeah. now that he's settled. Yeah, man. Yeah. And he can even play centre half as well, you know what I mean? And right back. Yeah. And he looks forward. Yeah. And that's what you have to do. Them, man, they're like Mane, um, Firmino, and Salah. They need the ball early so they can face people up and then go mm. at them. But Henderson, when he's doing Mr. Crab, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then they can get in their shape you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, honestly I'll be saying but I, I can't stand Henderson when he's got the time he's the best player in the world give him yeah. the time no but listen but I might comes, as well play if I got the time exactly, I, exactly. I mean, the moment, I hurt, man. the moment you put anyone like up against him with a little bit of pressure yeah and, and you know what I hate about him he's throwing his arms around like he's directing traffic like he's doing yeah. anything no huh? Like for me, I said on one of our earlier podcasts, I said one like an an area where Liverpool would go wrong yeah. is if they played that continue to play him and he plays because there was a, there was a while it looked like he was just out of the team and I was I was yeah. alright with it and yeah. you that were doing your thing and whatever yeah. but then when they started putting him back in and yeah. and putting Cater on the bench and. And you know, there's Fabinho on the bench, and he's yeah, and he's, he's not good enough. You see, the Man City game was a perfect example for me because oh, when he was, was playing, he was awful. And then Fabinho come on, and then we started yeah. getting back into it. We scored the goal, and, and, and he was pissed to come off in that. Yeah, come on, man, you you've been awful. Yeah, he's he's terrible, man. So you you don't think you've the, the league's done? No, I don't think the league's done. I, I think that if he gets the right balance, mm. I think I think there's still. A chase on, you know, and it's been a good title race as well for once as well. Yeah, and it's not just them walking it and yeah, running whatever. away with it. You know what I mean? Um, funny enough, Liverpool, yeah, yeah. There's a player on that team who I think he just reminds me of of the sort of player I might see down at your um academy. Oh, do you want to tell yeah. me about your academy first? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so basically, Jamie now he like he um he said before he does a lot of fitness, um, and mate, when I tell you fitness, guys. <laughs> It's not no joke thing. Mm, no. Like, I went there one time, um, well, not one time, yeah. I've been there more than once, obviously, but there was a period I went there and I lost a stone in like three or four weeks. Yeah, I Easy. remember it. Easy. I remember it. And you was flying at the end flying, of it. Flying. Flying. Yeah. Went back to my club and I'm yeah. just laughing. Eating it up. Laughing. I mean, I definitely slept a lot. Yeah. After them sort of training sessions, yeah. you, you have to sleep, bro. Yeah, you, you try to watch the telly and yeah. the telly's watching you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even do anything. But, yeah. um, yeah, you go there and you meet players and and I think that's um, that's a big thing in the community. A lot yeah. of, because what people don't understand is that a lot of um, footballers from, you know, the hood, let's yeah. just say, even if they're not from the hood, yeah, like just they, they come to you knowing. They come to me from your all rep, over the place. Because your reputation yeah. and then, and I'm talking about people you'll see on TV yeah. every week. You go there and yeah. and they're just training. And what I like is that you've you've instilled something there where there's no room for big time. I've seen no, people yeah. come big, be big time, yeah. and you shut them down. Yeah, yeah, shut them down quickly. Shut them down. One of the best ones I know was um, Craig Eastman. Yeah, I remember when Craig Eastman first came. Yeah. Arsenal boy. Yeah, he had this little arrogance about him and yeah. whatever. But then, the longer he was with you, the more he just. Humble. Humble. And it, and it helped him. Yeah. It helped him. Yeah. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? And, and this is what I said. Look, it's, it's not just about football. Mm. It's about life skills. It's about being that person. Like, because all of us are going to have knocks in life and all that, you know. Mm. But if you treat people with manners and respect, the people are more liable to help you. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, 100%, man. Yeah. It's, it's so true, man. Um, Obviously, you've one of the bigger names, like Loftus-Cheek. And he's a gentleman. Mm. He's a proper gentleman. I remember the first time he came to me. Yeah, it's funny because Steve Cameron's his agent. He's my brethren. Yeah, and he's he's gone to him. Listen, do not be late for him because he does not play. Oh, I'm telling you, <laughs> right. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> so the first time, like Cavs was me, says he thinks he's gonna be late, but yeah. he got in ten minutes early. Yeah, yeah. So you sit after that day, the first day, he was sick after 20 minutes, everywhere. Right. But you know, I knew when he, he'd make it because he went to the toilet, sick, come back out and completed it. Yeah. Next day, sick, completed it. But every day after that, he turned up 45 minutes, 15 minutes early. Yeah. 
And this is someone who's at Chelsea and plays for England. Mm. And that's what you need if you're going to get to the top. Yeah. Punchality is key for me. Mm -hmm. Manners and respect yeah. is, is and massive. Like you said, it's life skills because there's so many guys that, that go there yeah. and they have aspirations to be a footballer. But the reality is most of them won't make it. They don't want to put the work in. Yeah, most, most of them won't make it. But, you know, that whole punctuality thing and yeah. manners and respect... Yeah. Yeah. It it stays with you for like like it transcends past past football. Past football do you get yeah. what I'm saying? And like I said, I was saying to you when I'm when I go back to pre season with my clubs, yeah. I don't like running, but I know that I can, can do, do it. it. Can I know it. I know I can do it. <coughs> do you you've been in the listen. You've been in the darker place with me, mate. You know what I mean? I told yeah. you when I was. I remember when I first got there yeah. one time, and then we were out on the grass, and then. You split us up. You split us up into four groups, yeah. and I'm like, you don't know me. Like, no, no, no. This was like the second day. So the first yeah. day, we done running, yeah. and you put me with like the slower ones, yeah. It? And then you could see I weren't fit or whatever. Yeah. But then the next day, yeah. like when you're picking the groups, yeah. I'm thinking you're gonna put me to the back as well. You ain't yeah. been chatting to me because my first time yeah, there, yeah. and you put me with like the second group. Yeah, I'm like, nah, this guy all right. <laughs> But, like, you're doing the running and yeah. you feel like, you feel like, I can't do this, man. I can't do it. And the second, obviously, it goes in order of the fittest yeah. and yeah. whatever. And you put me with them and then yeah. they drag you through it. They, they they drag you through it. And you're just thinking, you can't, there's no space. Because like, you've got to do the work. Yeah. There's no space to, for doubt to even creep in. And this is why I do certain things. Remember, I give people times to get in. Mm. Yeah. I give the group times to get in. Yeah. Because football's a team game. Mm. Because if one man lets you down on a Saturday, yeah. we're all dead. Trust me. All right? So, like, sometimes when you're having a bad time, you need your teammate to get you out. Yeah. Yeah? And that's why I do all this stuff. Like, that's why I put you as groups. Because mm. I can see in certain people's mentality that they won't let their group down. Yeah. But if I know that you can't physically give me, me any more... Mm. I will allow you a couple of seconds and people don't know, know that. Yeah. No, as long I, as you give me an, everything. If you give me mm. everything, mm. I have no issue. Yeah. But when I know that you're you're cheating me, yeah. you'll like, be out there all day. Cutting corners and that. Cutting yeah, corners. Yeah, yeah. And you know, my favourite one I do to people, we've done all these runs and I say, listen, the two winners mm. can drop out. They won't do no more running for the day. Yeah. And then one who'd been at the back all day, all of a sudden they're at the front. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I say, all right, you think I'm stupid? I say, yeah, you could stay in, all the rest of you lot rest. Yeah. yeah? And then I'll run them even more. Yeah, no. Nah, and you'll do it. Yeah. You'll do it. You'll, you'll be cussing Jamie, I hate you, blah, blah, blah. But yeah. you do it. Yeah. So, yeah, and it's, oh, it's mad. It's absolutely mad. And but you, you know, when I started that, I started that 19 years ago with Sean Davis. Mm. We were still playing at the time. And me and Sean, we wanted to be fit when we went back. Yeah. So we just started, like, we go running, we go and do a bit of ball work at Crap and Common. Mm. Then other pros started finding out about it. And yeah. then all of a sudden, I got 40 up there. Yeah. And then every year I've done it since. Yeah. No, it's it's big, man. It's it's such yeah. a huge, like, advantage to, to go back with. And yeah. And I know for a fact that it's taught me a lot. I would honestly, there's I, w I know for a fact I wouldn't have got as far as I did with that, that training. And it's not just it's I, I don't know how to explain it. It's yeah. bigger than training. Do you get what I'm yeah. saying? Like so, yeah. even one thing that I always say to people is that I will never be the best technically on my team. Never. Yeah. It's not that's not I me saying I'm the best player. I could be the best player. Yeah. I could run. Yeah. I can run. Yeah, I, I can compete. Yeah, I can run, I can compete, I can fight for my team. Do you yeah. get what I'm saying? Obviously, I can play. Like, yeah. we, we we know I can play in it, but mm. those are the things that you taught me. I remember there was one time, there was like, we're just doing keep ball, whatever. Yeah. I've gone to shut down the ball down here. Yeah. They've popped the ball back there. Yeah. Before one of my teammates have got there, yeah. I've already got there. Yeah. And you stop the game. Yeah. And you're just like, how has he gone to shut down a the player there? Yeah. And then the, the balls come over here. And before you're there, yeah. he's already there. Yeah. Like, he's like, you can't make him do your running free. You're, you're killing him. Yeah. Like, 
And it's cheating. It's, it's, it's a, and it's a team game. It's, it's little it's little things like that, man. It's cheating. Yeah. And, and the thing is, I've got to identify all this in mm. my lifetime. Because I can see, people think I'm stupid sometimes, but I see everything. Yeah. Uh, they try and cut corners. Uh-uh. I'm not into it. Because uh, I don't I don't cut corners myself. Yeah. So I won't allow anyone else. It's all about standards. Nah, de- nah definitely, man. But Over years, it has to be standards. Mate, I just have to look on your page, man. Yeah. And like some of the players who who respect you and yeah. and that, you know, go go to you. Yeah. Anyone who's f- from ends especially that yeah. knows anything about football, they know. Yeah. They know Jamie. Lowe. I've met yeah. guys through you. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like big up Sean Scans. He's yeah. he's meant to be coming up coming up on the pod. Yeah. I met him down there. Obviously, yeah. I met Eastman down there. When I see yeah. Eastman now, it's yeah. get me. Yeah. He was. And he's a baller as well. He's, ah, super baller. Uh, he's a baller. He's not fulfilled his, his you know talent. What? Last time I had a conversation with him, we had an honest conversation, yeah. and um, I said to him, "This is Craig Eastman we're talking about, by the way, peeps." Yeah. I said to him. You could, you're so much better than this. Standard. So much better. But he, he almost, and this is, and I've said this to him, so I can come and say it here, yeah. yeah. It's almost as if he's just comfortable. He's comfortable. But. And he's been comfortable I, for, for it, years, man. For three years now. He's, I think it's three years he's been at Sutton now. Oh. And I, I got him to Sutton because, remember when he, he fell out, I think it was his last club was Colchester. Yeah. Right. Couldn't get another club for love nor money. Mm. But I saw him from this Arsenal where yeah. it was on on the bench at um, Barcelona at the New Camp. Mm. Yeah. And then I saw him getting the first team, he was playing well, he was getting higher and higher. Then he got an injury, but, no? No, even injury. Then I when saw him going, he was going nightclubs. Yeah. That sort of injury. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so he's in this nightclub thing. Shatter, Craig. Uh, so I'm like, Pulled him. I used to pull him. He used to come to me pre-season. He used mm. to come for a month. Then it started coming like two weeks. Yeah. Then it'd be a, a day here or there. And I said, listen, you've got to take care of your career. Mm. All right? I said, I can see what you're on right about now. You want to go ace of spades, champagne and whatever. Yeah. I said, that ain't going to pay your bills. Mm. And then, you know, these agents, mm. enough of them are full of shit. Right? I heard them. Uh, what happened now? Colchester got released from Colchester. He's ringing these agents. And not returning his call. So, like, he never knew where to turn. Yeah. So I said to him, listen, I will help you, but you have to do everything I tell you to do. Mm. I said, listen, you have to be at the gym at six o'clock in the morning. This man never lift weights before. Mm. <laughs> uh? So you have to be at the gym. And then you have to be at football for one o'clock. Yeah. I want to see his commitment. So for six, seven, eight weeks, he's with me. Morning and afternoon. All right? First time he went on the prowler, you know that thing I live on in the gym? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Couldn't push it. I uh, needed some yama, yama <laughs> banana. <laughs> Couldn't push nothing. Couldn't lift nothing. Yeah. I didn't mark myself. I was like, nah. So after six, seven, eight weeks, yeah. strong. Yeah. yeah. Running everywhere to the Craig I knew, but stronger in pushing people off the ball and all yeah. that. Now that's when I said, I said to Doz at Sutton, I said, I've got a player fancy uh, him coming down and listen within a week or so signed him he up. signed him on a contract yeah then he signed him on another one yeah alright he got players player of the year supporters player of the year yeah no, got they, they do love him down there man. they love him they he, do love him and like I said I, I saw the attitude change man yeah his attitude changed because at the end of the day he, it's one of them ones where he knew as well that he had to he had Knuckle to do down. something yeah he had to do something because you know, some footballers, they can't do nothing else. Mm. Football's their life. Would you say there's one guy who is like the biggest, not disappointment, but just didn't fulfil their potential out of the guys you had? <sighs> Andre Blackman. I've got a video on my Instagram when we were training together. Yeah. From your... Yeah, yeah on, Andre. Andre Blackman. Got so much ability. <sighs> uh, so much ability. Yeah, man, and- Andre's just yeah leads Celtic. I got him to Celtic because my brethren were 
were manager there, innit? not mm. Gary um, Neil Lennon and Gary Parker. And he don't know how to behave. Let's see, I'm trying to find this video. Uh, that's an old one, isn't it? That's bro? old. This is what is that? Twenty fourteen. See, look how look, look, look how trim I was. I know. Look at me. Oh, I saw this the other day, and I was just like, you know what? I'm getting back to this. Yeah. I said I'm getting back to this. But look at him, Andre. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Andre, man. He's one of the biggest ways because he was so talented. Like I've seen so many talented boys. They're more mm. talented than I was. Yeah. But they would never achieve what I did. Yeah. Because they haven't got the mentality. Yeah, he's. I remember he, he could actually play. Is he still kicking? I don't know what he's doing at the minute. I see him every now and again. Yeah, pop in, train, and then you won't see him again. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but guys like that will never really struggle to get a semi-pro club at least. I don't. I don't think. You say that, well, but you run out of options because you see football. Football's a small community. You know what? You say that, and um, one great example is Noah Ranger. That's what I'm saying. Noah Ranger, and, and I talk to him regular. Yeah. And he's struggling for a club now. It's got nothing to do with his ability. No, it's not. It's more. Like you it's bring just direct. rubbish to the club. Yeah. And and now you're not worth money. When you're at Newcastle, they will allow you because you're worth money. Mm. Not no, you're not worth nothing no more. And how old is he now? No, um, no, no, probably 27, 28. Right, 27, 28. You're not young no more. Yeah, there's the next youngster coming through. Exactly. And they pay him less money. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No. Now, now is a t is a tough one for me because I, I like I that like as him. Well, That's what I'm saying. I like me. him a lot. I like him, but. Listen, this is the same thing I'm saying about boys trying to be road and all that, yeah? Mm. Don't try and act that road, all right? You're not road. You know how much road man would love to play football? This is it. All right? You've got a career. And if your brethren don't respect that, they're not your brethren. Huh? Yeah. Nah, d anyway, thank God you got more good cases than, than, than bad yeah. cases. You got, how can I forget this guy, man? He's a runner, white guy. Robin Shoot. That's it. Shoot, yeah. Shoot, Shoot. Yes. He's one of my best stories. I, I was just about, that's why I'm bringing him up now. He's one of that's my best stories. I remember there was a free season. Yeah. And we were there and he was just pushing me like, and his attitude was, he's, he's the one that taught me yeah. about attitude. Yeah. Because yeah. he would come and, I remember there were like, guys just, guys could push him off the ball. Yeah. But he'd be like, and I remember he said something, you can push, you can push me off the ball, but you will not outrun me. Yeah. And because you won't outrun me, you won't be, you won't be, you won't be able to get close to me. He was yeah. sharp. He yes. could play. Both feet. Oh, like, man. He came to me as a 16 year old kid. Mm. Private school kid. Yeah. And you come with all the odd man them. Yeah? yeah, exactly. Right? So that said, that said a lot about him in the first place. Yeah, you lot, just Google Robin Shruti. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then... He's with me for years. Yeah. First, he couldn't, he couldn't head the ball. Mm. Good on the ball and all that, but he was a bit lightweight. Would have yeah. put his foot in, pull out of challenges. But then, kept on coming to me mm. for years, years. Even if he got injured, he'd still be at training watching. Yeah. And that's how much he loved the game. And then it got he got to 19, and I was sending him on trial at Birmingham. Yeah. Oh, he went Birmingham as well, didn't it? He signed for Birmingham yeah. for two years. Then, where was it, Stevenage after that? He, he went Stevenage, yes, yeah, Stevenage. And then he's, he's in Norway now. He's yeah. in America. Yeah. He went to Norway, but he's got signed a new he's a three year contract in Norway with coaching. And then he ended up being a manager, Robin. Oh, is it? But he's one of my success stories. Yeah. He's everything I wanted out, out of a player. Yeah. Yeah, he, he was like a sponge. Yeah, just to soak everything up. Soaked everything up. Nothing was too much. Yeah. What's your... Um, obviously, you, you've you dabbled in management. Yeah. Just recently left Kingstonian. How did you find that? Very frustrating. Because um, I can take people losing games. Mm -hmm. But I can't take people not giving their all on the football pitch. Yeah. And trying to blame others for... for um, the, things what they ain't done yeah that's not part of me if you if you made a mistake i'm one of them ones 
if I made a mistake, I'll come out and hold my hands up and say, you know what, sorry, boys. Yeah. I'll let you down today. Then it's done. Yeah. But when you're trying to play, play like you're brainier than other people, mm. I can't take it. And in, in the end, I stopped being myself in the change room. Like, I wouldn't say for certain things in the change room because I know it weren't going in. Yeah. And I'm not like that. Everyone who knows me knows I'm not like that. Yeah. I will say how it is, and it's done then. Yeah, you know what I mean, and yeah. it, and it came obviously just after my mom died, so it probably wasn't the right place for me to be. Yeah, sorry to hear about that, man. Yeah. By the way, man, I can't lie; it hurts my heart every time you put up a picture, man. Yeah, it probably, that's my way of being close to her. You know what I mean? That's yeah. like the hardest thing I've ever had to deal with, bro. Right? Like, yeah, my mom's my queen. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Mm. And I think everyone would know even before she died how close me and her mm. was like Thursday and Sunday is probably our day. Thursday was me and her day, like I'll be right there for dinner and all that. Yeah. And I got the seal of approval. I cooked her dinner before she died. Yeah. And she's giving the seal of approval. So yeah, I'm all good, man. She's eighty eight. And she yeah. she lived a good life, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. Are you holding up though, man? Yeah. But you know what? At the beginning, really, really hard, but I'm getting in now, man. Like, I'm around my daughters a lot, so yeah. they help me, yeah. Yeah, no, no, I hate that, man. And um, I've seen the love that you've been getting from the game, man. Oh, I've been getting loads of love from mm. everyone. A lot of people have been out there. People hardly knew. Yeah. They've been there for me, man. That's why you know there's some good people in this world. Yeah, 100%, man. And I think, it's, it's again, it's just testament to what you've done for the game and what you've done mm. for the community, man, that... that when when you're going through the hard times, people are just quick to reach out, man. Yeah, Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So sorry to hear that, man. But yeah, man. Oh, she lives on in me, man. Well, trust me, man. So yeah. what's what's next, man? Well, you know, obviously I done my documentary. Yeah, documentary. Well, it was 25 minutes long. I'm gonna do. How did that work you? in in regards to documentary? Did they approach you, like? Yeah, Sky Sky and BT approached me, and then. Um, they spent a lot of time with me. We went to the Isle of Wight, everything. Mm. So, and to be fair, the piece, what they done was really, really good. Yeah. I, w I was pleased with it, but it was a snippet of my life. Yeah, I can imagine. So what I'm doing now, I'm going to do a proper documentary, probably about 12 parts, yeah. 12 hours, and then probably sell it to Amazon or, yeah. or Netflix or something like that and yeah, go man. proper deep into my life. Yeah, I know you got the, the book as well. Yeah, I got the book from prison to the premiership. I've been going into prisons as well, doing uh, mentoring, and mm. then when they come through the door, I mentor them as well. Yeah. And then I do my strength and conditioning stuff. Yeah. Oh, what, what I wanted to ask you um, as well, agents. Yeah. Now, because obviously a lot of agents send their players to you. Yeah. Do you... <coughs> when, when you get that call or whatever saying, look, I want to send the boy down to you. Yeah. Is it normally one of like... Because uh, if it's coming from someone that you know, it's like, oh, yeah. cool, do your thing. Yeah. But do you get random ones calling you saying... Yeah, I get loads of random ones mm. calling me. I also get random ones saying, I like, oh, can I come down and watch training, see what players I can... Just take. Uh, yeah. I'm like, listen, nope. I work with certain agents. Yeah. Who, most of them are my brethren's. Mm. Don't work with any and anybody because I don't trust agents. Because mm. uh, they're shady. A lot of them are shady, man. They're very shady, and I don't like how they deal with the boys, especially when the boys have got nothing. Because when you're playing well, anyone can be your agent. Yeah. It's when the shit hits a fan now, and you ain't got nothing, can they pull mm. a rabbit out of the hat? That's when the agent should be earning these. Do you money. remember what agent it was that sent me to you? Who was it? Euban. Was it Euban? Yeah. See, that's my boy. Yeah. He's my boy. Euban is my boy. You see, Euban, any players what come to him, mm. he sends them to me. Basically, so Euban, yeah. I've gone to him and it's it's funny because I was at St. Albans at the time. Yeah. And I've gone to him, I was just like, listen, someone told me, no, someone put us in contact with each other. Mm. And then um, I've gone to him, I'm like, listen, I want to play. I heard you can help me out. Yeah. And then <laughs> before he even said, he goes, I'm going to send you to Jamie. Yeah. And then you won't even remember it. Like, I'm going to send you to Jamie. And yeah. then t just tell him I sent you. And then I remember I went. Yeah. And then, like I said, you didn't even talk to me. Yeah. And we'd even, like, you couldn't even see me play football because yeah. we'd done so much running. By the time yeah, the yeah. football come, I wasn't yeah. even 
ready yeah, for ready. it. Yeah, oh, yeah. I was, I'd had no You're energy. Bust, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then like, after like a week, I didn't hear anything from you, but I was just like, no, oh, this guy's not serious, man, whatever. Call me, he called me about two weeks later. He's like, I spoke to Jamie. Jamie said, you got something. And I was just like, what? Like, I thought you, you yeah. like, forgot about me and that. Yeah, and he goes, yeah. nah, like, Jamie said, you got something. Yeah. Literally, end up, what, Watford about six months later. See? Six months yeah. later, I was at Watford. Uh, so I, lo- I love you, with, like, mm. and with me, like, I would, I, I would look at you over a period of time. Yeah. Because anyone can come in and be strong. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, if you see in a lot of my videos, I say everyone starts off strong. Yeah. Can you maintain it? No, it's, it's crazy, man. How did you get um thing as well? Ghana, because you were, you were fitness coach yeah, for Ghana as well, wasn't it? For the last two African nations I've yeah. done. Um, Avran Grant was manager, but you know, there's an agent called Safe Ruby. Oh, big up Safe. Um, yeah. My, my boy's with him as well. Yeah, safe, Safe's Chris good Dixon. lad. Yeah, Safe's good lad. You're Chris uh, Dixon? Yeah, of course I know Dicko. Yeah, yeah, Dicko, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Chris, yeah. Dicko's was safe as well. Yeah, so like, Dicko's come to me as well. I know, yeah, 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 yeah I, I knew that actually, I'm not talking yeah. about So, so safe, safe's my president from years back mm. when he had the nightclubs and all that. Yeah. So he knows what I do and Avram was looking for strength and conditioning coach. Mm. So he said, listen, I'm coming into England now. Gaffer wants to meet us, uh, see, because he needs strength and conditioning coach. So I met him in a hotel over West End. Yeah. Walked in there, spoke to a gaffer. And I actually said to him, I said, listen, before you do your homework, I'm going to tell you that I've been in prison, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Before others tell him, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I left. And the safe's gone, the gaffer really likes her. Six weeks later. What's Avram like though? Avram Grant. You know what? I'm not going to diss him because he gave me a chance. Yeah. Right? <laughs> but, and we and we actually done well with the team. And yeah. That, like we got to the final, we should have won it. Yeah. And we we got to the semi final. Yeah. So I'll be fa- always thankful that he gave me the chance. You know what I mean? That's another story. <laughs> you know, uh, that them trips, wicked. The players. Unbelievable, yeah. and you're still in contact with a lot of the players. Yeah, as well, the players man. are unbelievable. I know you're really close with Mensa. Mensa? Yeah, Jonathan Mensa. Yeah, really close. Where's with he Jonathan now? Is he... He's in America. Oh, he got okay. um, most valuable defender. Oh, over in America. Yeah, he should be playing in England. He's got he's got all the attributes to play in England. He's a rash. Yeah, and he's, remember, he's only twenty five. You know. He's still only 25. Only 25. He started playing for the national team at 17. People don't realise, as a defender, you mature about 27, 28. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because mm. you learn from all your mistakes and mm. that, you know what I mean? So, yeah, you know I'm playing centre-back now as well. Playing centre-back now? Play centre-back. Yeah, that's calm for you. Calm. I've got the speed. Because I remember yeah. after I broke my leg. Yeah. So after, you, you know what I mean? Bad break as well, That break was terrible. So, obviously I was left mid before that. Yeah. And then after that, while I was trying to build my fitness, because you know when managers up that down, um, here, just when you go up and down on the yeah. wing. So while I was building my fitness, I was like, let me go left back. Yeah. And then um, no one was beating, because the, the good thing is I didn't lose speed. Pace, yeah. yeah, so no one was beating me for speed. Yeah. And I just naturally was good at reading the game and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. And then before you know it, I went centre back. Yeah. Had a couple iffy matches or whatever, while I was just yeah. finding it. But then now I'm just... It's all Easy. Right. Yeah, man. It's, it's You're aggressive, though, aren't you? So, like, yeah. So, and you know, them, them centre forwards don't like playing against that now. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. they sure. rough them up. Yeah, they sure. rough them up, man. Like, but I love it, man. And yeah. bec- and since the, the leg break, it's funny because yeah. I remember when I came back yeah. and I tweeted, not tweeted, I, I put you, I put it on Instagram yeah. saying, Jamie, I'm coming, to, I'm coming back yeah. to you. I don't know if you remember my first session back. Yeah, I remember your session back. And you were like, are you sure? You're, you're okay and then someone took me out in training yeah. and you were like good you're, 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 you're right good now. yeah you're alright mentally you're alright yeah because I was scared about that, yeah. that first because yeah, I was first... playing and I was thinking oh sugar it's am I ready first tackle yeah and then you get up and you think oh, you know what I'm alright yeah man Yeah, and then you go and I remember I had so much adrenaline that I was doing all the running yeah but then once that adrenaline wore off yeah oh yeah it's, it's, <laughs> You're yeah, out. I, was, I was done I was done Yeah, I was done but yeah that allowed me again that comes back to the whole mentality thing yeah. and just knowing that I could come back you know they told me I'll never play football again imagine that 
That's what I'm saying, man. The time I don't I never... even listen to them people sometimes. <laughs> yeah. What's your worst injury? I broke my leg. To be fair, I always broke bones. Mm. Broke my arm. I had groin repair. Um, broke my cheekbone both sides. Mm. Probably my leg was the long, longest one, which is four and a half months. It was a non-weight bearing one. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, that's... Um, yeah, the, the, the leg breaks are the... Yeah, it weren't bad. So, like, I never had no up or nothing. It weren't bad, but... My physio at the time was like a vet. Yeah. Yeah, so I went into... Um, Put myself into Lillishaw. Yeah. Yeah. They work you hard, man. Mm. Um, young players, because obviously you deal with a lot yeah. of young players. Yeah. And we were talking before, before we come on, about the the difference in the attitude with the younger players. Just, what, a, what do you think it is, though? Like, I just Society. It's a society thing for me mm. right about now, because for one, they don't want people disciplining their kids. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's a massive thing for me. Yeah. Because never done me no harm getting disciplined. Yeah. Even though I turned into bad breed, but I, would, I still have manners and respect. Yeah. All right? I, when my mum used to give me a look, I knew that I had to settle down. Yeah. Because yeah. I was going to get some beat. These youths ain't got none of that. None. They got their parents talking to them like they're brethren's. Yeah. All right? <laughs> Not into that. A parent should be a parent. Yeah. There should be boundaries, you know what I mean? Mm. And then, if there ain't no boundaries indoors, how do you expect that your kid to go outside and have boundaries anywhere else? Yeah. It's not going to happen. It starts at home. Yeah, and then they're coming to you with that same attitude. And yeah. Well, when they come no, to no, me... No, 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 not you. Yeah. They, they get a rude awakening if they yeah. come to me with that attitude. Yeah. Right. You know what's mad though? I've seen some fights at thing. Yeah. I've seen some fights at, at, at training and yeah. and but this is what I'm saying. When I was younger, yeah, I'd see the fights, but we'd leave it there. Yeah. Like we'd we'd do it yeah. and I remember that one time, this guy Femi. Yeah, I remember Femi. Was a big yeah, Femi. tall young black boy. Yeah. Big tall young black boy, he'd come and he was bare physical. He must yeah. have been about 17 years old. Yeah. Bare physical. And he was agging up Femi and Femi, yeah. Femi banged him. And Femi was like, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. And, and the boy was like, oh, he fights me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was at a club as well. Yeah. Um, he was at Norwich. Was it Norwich? There was a couple brothers of them. And that is a whole reason that he never made it. Because he's soft like ice cream. Uh. You know what I mean? You can't be soft, brother. <laughs> and you know what? I used to let certain things go on. Uh, bro, I know. Uh, bro, get out of it. The thing right. is, I, I remember you You could, I'm not saying you would encourage fighting, but yeah. sometimes you just got to let it happen. But then after, how yeah. you deal with it, yeah. you get back and you play your football. Get back, you play football, shake each other's hand. Yeah. Right. Do you get what I'm and saying? it's done. Yeah. Because emotion is, listen, emotions are running high at football. Mm. A man don't want to do forfeits. Yeah, no, trust me. <laughs> trust me. No, no matter if you, you could be fighting, but at the end of the fight, you know, listen, someone's doing this running. Yeah. Someone's doing this running. So you don't want to be doing that running. So no, you just. Oh, you don't want to be doing bunny hops yeah. at the top oh, of that. Those were the worst. The bunny hops. Yeah. The bunny hops. And then yeah. you used to just look to see if you're looking. And then you yeah. think you're not looking. And then, oh, no, I see you. Yeah. I see you. Oh, yeah. old oh, start again. Yeah. Flip it off. But yeah, no, nah, um, these young players, like, yeah. they're going to coaches and they're talking back to coaches and don't have any I, respect. That's, and that's a it, that's a massive insecurity as well, some of these players. Because mm. a lot of them are deflectors. Yeah. But even at football clubs now, they're not disciplining kids. Like, back in my day, a YT couldn't just walk into our change room. Yeah, yeah. They have to knock on the door. Yeah. And then you'll say, come in. Yeah. Now they're bowling in, in their earrings and all that. It's, I'll give you a joke. Marto who's at Chelsea and their second is. Yeah. He come to me for the first time last year, yeah? Yeah. I got a group session. I turned up 15 minutes late. Mm. So he walked in. I said, yep, yeah, you got forfeits, 15 prowlers, yeah? I said, furthermore, take out them fucking earrings out your ear as well. Yeah. This ain't no fashion show. You come to train. All right? And then he's like, you never done it again? Mm. Never done it again, bro. You learn the rules quickly. Quickly. All right? And they don't do it at football clubs. Yeah. And, and with our youths now, what they do, they, 
they encourage all this behavior. They set him up to fail. Yeah. Right. At first, they promise him the world, and then they they don't give him no standards. Mm. So they fall below the standards, and then they just release them. All right. And then where did these youths go from there? On the road. And on top of that, they get released. You know, you're dealing with agents who don't want to deal with you no more. You can't deal with you anymore. Yeah. Exactly. And then they end up on the roads, on the scrap heap. What do you think that's still... Scrap heap. What do you think that's still, like, changed, though? Like, How's it going to change? I don't... I can't see it changing because when Craig Bellamy has to resign because he's challenging kids, right? Peter beersy has gone today as well, hasn't he? Yeah, I heard because, about that one. Wait, why has he gone again? Same sort of thing as, um, as Bellamy. I know, I know what they're doing. They're, they're challenging kids, and you can't even do this rubbish now. Mm. They got HR and all that at football now. What the hell is HR doing at football? Mate, I never, even when I was playing that like, pro club, I never even knew H- HR was about. Like. I never knew what HR was until uh, lately. Uh. <laughs> what is HR doing? It's like it's like sports scientists. Yeah, they've created a niche for their own self. Mm. Sports scientists. They're the worst thing in football for me. You think so? They they got a place like recovery and whatever, mm. but all this rubbish about red zone. Just imagine they come to one of my sessions. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Red zone. The red zone for the entire session. What? They would have been bringing you lot in after ten minutes. Yeah. Huh? No. That red zone. Listen, if you don't train in red zone, you won't know what happens when when it, red zone hit you in a game. Bro, there's there's just something about. That zone, man, uh, and you guys that are listening to this, man. I hope you're getting a lot from this because fitness is no. There's fitness, but then there's fitness, fitness, right. and that red zone is is no joke. Uh, and let me tell you something. Like, you see, top teams mm. they win games in the last fifteen minutes, yeah, because players switch off because yeah. they're tired, mm. right? And they keep going, they keep probing, they keep going, mm. and someone switches off, right? And if you're fit, you do not switch off. Yeah. Right, they might beat you by a little bit of brilliance, but you're not switching off. Right? Yeah. If fitness is massive in any sport for me, mm. it's massive. How much longer do you reckon you could go on for? Because you're 49, but you've got fitness of flipping 20 something year old. Well, I'm not ready to hang up my yeah. gloves yet, but I've still got a lot left in me. Bro. And what people don't know as well is that you, you, you're still like as good with the ball as, as anything. Yeah. Like, if we're doing five aside, you join in the five aside. I'm still joining. Still joining. Still touches joining. are still there. Yes, touches still. I still play. I play vets. Mm. My my vets team's decent. We played a week and a half ago in the mm. in a quarter final three to one six nil. Yeah, but we've got good players. It's a bit that. unfair though if you're if you're a vets well, and you're. I never up. tell them not to train. Yeah, <laughs> 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 it's a bit unfair because I I must I know. When yeah. some of them come up and they see that Jamie Lawrence, they're just thinking, wow, what's going on here? Yeah. And Sean Davis, Barry Ellis. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's a bit unfair. I was Sean Davis. What's he, what's he doing now? He was doing a little bit of agency work, but he ain't really doing much at the minute. Yeah, I messaged yeah. him to come on. He didn't even respond back to my message. I'll, I'll get on him. Yeah, I'll man, get on get, him. Get, get Sean Davis down there, man. Yeah. I'll message I'll him. He's, he's got, got a good story as well. Good you. And he was a good player, you man. The baller, but his knees yeah. mash up. Isn't it? Good player, man. He's still a good player. I think he had his best stint at, was it Portsmouth? He's done well at Portsmouth. Now, Fulham's his club, isn't it? He, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He played every, it was Fulham every to league. Portsmouth, yeah. isn't it? Fulham to Tottenham and then Tottenham to Portsmouth. Yeah. I know, he didn't really have a good time at Tottenham, though. He hated it at Tottenham. Yeah, he didn't have a good time, from, from what I remember. It was a short stint. Yeah, he hated it at Tottenham. Yeah. I remember that was a window. That, I mean, he, he went there, but and they had ballers at that club as well, though, yeah. at that time. yeah. Was Van der Vaart there? No, but no, Van der Vaart was there. I remember they had ballers yeah. at, that, at that time. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. they weren't as good as they are now. Who, yeah. Tottenham? Yeah, they're decent now. Do you like this, this Tottenham team? Young and vibrant, aren't they? And I, I think if they invested money... But this is the thing. Everyone knows that if if they invest money, they can, they can do bits. But yeah. it's about if they're going to invest money. He ain't going to. I, I bet you any money... If Zidane don't go back to Real Madrid, Ponch goes back to goes to Real Madrid. You know, if Mourinho will go back, he could go back. But he want he don't like Ramos. Ramos don't like him. <laughs> I, I don't think no one likes um, Mourinho no more. 
Yeah, nah, Mourinho's still a top manager for me, you know. Which part? Nah, Mourinho's still a top When's manager. When's the last time you done anything proper? Europa League. That don't count. Why don't it count? He came second count, in bro. the league as well. That don't count, bro. He came second in that with, with that team. Oh, second. With that, that team. Is that anything? Second. Nah, but Do you win anything for second? No, nah, you don't win anything for second. But with that, he did well. He did well. And in that final season, it just Yeah, it Listen, just, just went to pop. He don't stay anywhere more than three years. Does he develop any young players? No, he doesn't develop any. But we all know that's not Mourinho. No, but his football's rubbish as well. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's always been rubbish. Yeah, but listen, it's bad because you've got Klopp and Pep now who are playing a different brand of football. I hear that, but Mourinho's always played the football he's played. Yeah. And, and it's always delivered. But people are finding him out now. Which is, and this is what we were um, saying on our pod before, that... <sighs> Um, where he's flopped is that he's not moving with the times. No, he ain't evolving. Yeah, he's not moving with the times. That's where yeah. he's kind of being found out a bit. Because you know, his teams have always been big, strong, physical, mm. and overpower teams. Yeah. But when they come up against a little Diddy man from Chelsea, um, from Man City and Liverpool now, mm. they can't get near him because they're too sharp. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, nah. So you reckon Poch back to, I mean, Poch to um, Madrid? Could be one. Because he ain't going to go Man United now after the result tonight. Yeah. yeah. I think... Um, Solskjaer's got that. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. I think um, Tottenham, for me, mm. if I'm being really honest, their team is just... They're, they're competing and they're doing well. They're, they're punching. Yeah, yeah, 100%. But they just need to invest Heavy yeah. like midfield, I, th- I think they need a lot of a lot yeah, of work. Won. Yeah, but then Ericsson's a daddy as well. Like Ericsson's a good player. Yeah, no, Ericsson's a boss. Ericsson's yeah. a boss. But this is another another thing. One of their players definitely leaving. One of the top yeah. players is leaving. I think it might be Ericsson this this summer. Yeah. Odovard's leaving. Yeah, and twenty five million. That's a snip. It, imagine that twenty five million for Odovard. They should. That's this what I'm saying. They, they don't even just and he wants to stay, but they're not paying him the money that he wants. Yeah. That's that's my man, isn't it? Leaving. Yeah. Uh, There's only so long man, you can go it? be doing this balance in the books, sir. Because yeah. I think one of their big players is leaving. Okay. Yo, this is this is a, a good one for you, actually. Your man that I, I can say knows football, knows yeah. players. What are your honest opinions of Deli Ali? I think he's overrated, to tell you the truth. Oh, thank God for that. Thank oh, God for that. I think that. he's so overrated. Like... In the World Cup, we just said it all for me, mm. and I thought I thought Ruben not only because I trained Ruben. I thought Ruben should have played course. a lot more. Of course, you know what I mean. Of and course, it, especially when they're winning one 0 and all that, and you need to keep the ball against Croatia and take the pressure off the team and all that. You got put Ruben on; he can run with the ball. He's comfortable on the ball. Mate, imagine that midfield of um, was it Henderson, yeah. Lingard, and um, Ali. It's ca- that's chaos. Oh, I could get a, I could get a gig in that. <laughs> midfield I think I yeah. mean cause I can do Henderson's job for easy Mate, and I'll pass forward yeah oh man like Ali for me yeah, I, I, I just don't know and people again they're gonna come and say I'm I'm biased not even biased but like I hate I don't hate Ali I just think he's massively overrated someone said about Ali to me I said not feeling him I think he's overrated I think if he doesn't score in a game he don't contribute yeah this is it. Like, yeah. my, my thing is not about goals. Because, yeah. you know, now in today's game, it's yeah. about goals and assists, yeah. stats and whatever. My thing is if you contribute in a game yeah. and if you impact a game and yeah. you don't score. Yeah. If Ali was impacting games for me, yeah. he'd, be, he'd be so much more useful. Yeah. But if you don't score, you don't do anything. And, 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 and you get, this is what I'm saying about sports scientists as well. They do all these stats about kilometres yeah. or whatever. But, you could run all day and not touch the ball. Mm. You know what I mean? It's rubbish. Oh, Ramsey. Right. Mo Farah can run all day. Mm. You know what I mean? But he can't kick a ball. Yeah. You know Hend- I mean? Henderson. Henderson's another one. Runner. Ramsey, 400 grand at Juve. That's a madness. What's going mad? Strikers Union. Harry Kane. I actually think he's overrated as well, but he's banging goals for fun. Uh, I think he's overrated. I'm not saying anything because, again, uh, again, people say I don't like I think Kane. he's overrated. I, I think he, he scored last night, but big games, like, 
they said that golden boot in the in the World that Cup. Fake but golden I'm, boot. Yeah, how much penalties? Is <laughs> right, how much penalties to score? And one deflection from Ru- Ruben's shot. Yeah. Huh? Again, Kane. I've always said in the massive moments in games when you really need him. Yeah. Like, look at look at that World Cup. Huh. He played good against Colombia, I reckon. Yeah. Apart from that, he didn't do anything. Never. So he, he scored looked, all he those goals against Panama and then, and then, was it Panama? Whatever, whoever yeah, it Panama. was. But like, when you come to the games that like against Croatia, games, when and you, you really need him, he, he doesn't step up for me. And you know, the public were on to Sterling, yeah? But Sterling, listen, Sterling's a better player than him, bruv. And Sterling now, this year, has gone on tenfold, bruv. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah are, you ready for this, are you ready for this shout? I want to see if you think I'm right. mad. I think Sterling's a better... Mm, in fact, Sterling's had a better season than Hazard. Yeah, yes. Yes, yes. So Sterling's had, Sterling yeah, had a better Hazard season Hazard started off on fire. The last two, three months, he's plateaued. But for me, yeah. the reason why I don't say Hazard isn't world-class yeah. is because there's too many moments like that. But yeah. but then he'll go off for that like two, three months. Yeah. Next game, for 10 minutes, he'll be out, outrageous. Yeah. And people be like, oh my gosh, that's Hazard. Yeah, but that's- you got to have standards. We were talking about standards earlier. Like, mm. you see the Messi's and the Ronaldo's of this world. Yeah. You know? Their standards are always high. Mm. You know what I mean? And they win games by minutes of brilliance yeah. all the time. Yeah. When you think, oh, they're out of the game, they pop up. Yeah. You know what I mean? With a bit of brilliance. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to snip that bit for the Instagram because mm. when I always try to explain why certain people aren't world class to me yeah. that's what I'm, I'm trying to say it's, yeah. yeah man yeah. do you know what I mean those moments when you need them it's like see Ronaldo I'm a messy man yeah mm. but I respect Cristiano Ronaldo you have to you have right? to because like little things what he did like he's the first one on the training ground the last one to leave mm. right and you see when they played Spain last year three, in three. the World Cup yeah. the 3-3 free free and he's got a free kick yeah and he puts it in the top corner that's all that practice, what he's putting in yeah. on the training ground for mm. one second. Yeah. What wins me a bet as well, actually. All right, we need to talk about your bets, man. How are your <laughs> bets always covered in? No, they're not always covered in. No, nah, your bets. Listen, nah. every other week I'm yeah. seeing your bet slip. Yeah. It's just, I feel to close my app. <laughs> honestly, because your bets are just, and they're, they're accumulator bets, bro. Yeah, yeah, that one, that one, well, I, I had Cristiano Ronaldo first goal and 3-3. Free free. I don't know how I pulled that one out. Bro, <laughs> like, I don't know what's going on. Like, your bets, your bets are always coming in, bro. Yeah, but it's only two, three quid and that, that, that. So you can be outrageous on them bets, you know what I mean? Nah, but you're, you're raking in money, bro. Like, it's... Nah, listen, I'll, I'll lose a lot, but... <laughs> I, but I, I have a budget. Yeah. At a weekend. Yeah, nah, your mm. bets. Listen, from, from now on, when you're going to put a bet, yeah. just just drop me a message and, 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 I'll, and I'll be putting it on. Because you bet on silly games as well, man, yeah. like championship and that. Yeah. Uh, championship's the hardest one. I don't bet, I don't ever bet on championship. It's the hardest one to call, man. It could go either way. Yeah, it's who turns up at the day. Yeah. Like, and I've been in that league and it's so hard. Yeah. Because like, you play you play Saturday, Tuesday. It's who recovers the best, you know what I mean? That's a good way of looking at it, isn't it? Yeah. Saturday, Tuesday, all the time. Gosh. Yeah. Gosh. But yeah, man. Yeah. James, I hope you had a good time, man. Yeah, man. It's been blessed, bro. You sure? Been blessed, bro. Good. I love that. I love been trying to get you on for ages, man. I'm here, bro. Don't worry. You, you'll be back, man. Don't worry. When we do our next live show as well, we'll you'll, you'll be back. Yeah, I'll be back. Well, thanks, man. And you lot listening, you got two podcasts. We recorded one earlier on, innit? Yeah. So now we're recording this one. So the yeah. fans get... Oh, the listeners, no, I don't like Gundam fans. The listeners get two podcasts in a week. Is it? Yeah, they don't know. They don't know that yet, though. Yeah. We're gonna drop one, and then yeah, we're gonna, yeah. gonna drop this one later yeah. on. But I'll I'll cut this one up, give you some bits and all of that. All right, then, bro. All right, bless you. Yeah, Jim. Respect that. Love that, man. Love. Bro. But yeah, guys, keep liking, subscribing, yeah. um, sharing. I'm gonna put Jamie Lawrence's um, info, Twitter, any. You know, Instagram, sorry. Any questions you have for him, just hit us up, man. Um, yeah, man. But guys, we're out. That's out, people. Yeah, man. <laughs>